A lot of people ask me, how do I get my game looking so beautiful in Minecraft 1.18? And I tell them shaders and this beautiful resource pack that I have up in the sky. So today, my dudes, I'm going to be showing you how to install Optifine as well as download any type of shader for Minecraft Java Edition 1.18.1. And as well, we're going to go over resource packs, also known as texture packs, to make your sky look absolutely beautiful, just like this one right here. So let's go ahead and not waste any time and let's get straight into this video my dudes so the first thing we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to go on optifine's website we're going to go to the download section up at the top and then we're going to make our way down to previous versions and we are going to find the most recent version so as you guys can tell right here is the um optifine hdu h4 now these are some pre-release versions if you want to download those you can but it is for 1.18.1 so we're going to go with this one right here optifine hdu h4 and we're going to click on mirror so now that this came up we're going to go ahead and click on download and then down in our bottom left corner, as you guys can see, Optifine has downloaded and you can exit out this page. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to look for a shader pack. I really like Silders. So if you guys want to install the same one that I'm using, I can show you guys right now. So we're going to go ahead to Silders Shaders website and we're going to go to downloads down here. And we're going to find ourselves the Silders Enhance default. So as we can see here, there are tons of different versions on here right here, as you guys can see. And now I just found it here. Now they must have just updated this, which this is a good thing. January 1st, 2022, you can either get Silders Enhanced Default for fast or you can get Silders Enhanced Default Fancy. So let's go ahead and click download on that and let's get the fancy one. Now it's going to take you to this download page. You're gonna watch up in the top right corner and it's gonna wait a few seconds. Now all these things, you guys are gonna to have to go on the websites yourself, find the links yourself as I'm not putting links in description as YouTube can take down your video if they don't like the link so just letting you guys know so we're on Silders enhanced default we're gonna click download now we're just gonna patiently wait here and there we go in the bottom left corner again Silders enhanced default is downloaded as well as optifine so now we have our optifine we have our shader pack and now let's go find a texture pack now if you want a beautiful sky like you've seen in my world i recommend dramatic skies resource pack 1.18 1.17 now just to make things clear a resource pack and a texture pack are the same thing they used to be called texture packs back in the day when i started playing minecraft and now they're called resource packs so we're going to scroll all the way down to the how to install as you guys can see if you guys want to read that you can but i'm going to show you how to download it yourself and install it so right here it says download links 1.18 download dramatic skies resource pack let's click on that and there we go we have optifine we have silders enhanced default shader pack and we have the dramatic skies texture pack also known as resource pack so we're ready to go to install these now all right the first thing i want you to do is bring all your downloads to your desktop so bring them straight onto your desktop this is just going to make it easier and simpler to install so the first thing we're going to click on is one make sure you've actually launched minecraft 1.18.1 at least once before actually installing optifine or else it won't detect your minecraft dot minecraft file and you actually can't install optifine so go ahead and make sure you start up minecraft at least once now another thing make sure your minecraft game is closed so we're going to close it now we're going to double click on optifine 1.18.1 and now we're going to click install all right optifine is successfully installed so there we go we are good to go for optifine now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our minecraft launcher now as you guys can see in this launcher you're going to actually find down in this bottom left corner here you're going to actually find optifine 1.18.1 now if it doesn't show up you can also go to installations make a new installation and search through here as you guys can see release 1.18.1 optifine and actually find it yourself and then create one down in the right corner it says create and create one yourself if it doesn't show up but it usually does show up so we're going to go ahead and launch uh, optifine 1.18.1 hit play and let's start it all right once you've started your game we're going to go ahead and go to single player we're going to just go ahead and hop straight into a world all right here we are we're inside of a world now how you know optifine is installed obviously you just launched it from their launcher another way is you can go to video settings and you'll now have now have the option for shaders as you guys can see here so i'm going to show you how to install the shaders first and then we'll show you how to install the resource slash texture pack so we're going to click shaders here 
We're going to go into down in the bottom corner here. We have shaders folder. We're going to open up that. Now we have the shaders folder open. So if you actually went ahead and put your um, uh, shader pack on the main screen here, we're just going to drag it over and drop it in. So as you guys could see, this is actually a new version of Silders Enhance, which I'm actually very happy about. That's why I made this video. And uh, I had the old version back from like 2020. So yeah, so we're going to exit that out and then we're going to go ahead and click this. Now, as you guys can see, we have an extra shader pack here and we're going to double click on the Silders Enhance default 1.131. And we're going to exit out. And here you go. This is your new shader pack. And it looks pretty good. Honestly, it's a really generic, basic shader pack that doesn't change the game too, too much. But it gives you nice shadows. And it looks really, really good. All right. The next thing we want is we want those beautiful skies. So you guys want to have skies just like this or say another texture pack or resource pack. So this one's really easy. All you do is go into your options. You go to resource pack right here. We click on the resource pack and then we go to open pack folder and we literally just do the same thing. Drag that to the side, grab dramatic skies and place it in. Now, obviously, I already have it in there, so I'm just duplicating the file. So I'm going to click exit, but make sure you guys throw it in there and then you'll be good to go. And then, of course, once you actually get that in there, it'll show it over here. It'll be available dramatic skies demo. We're going to click this and it'll bring it over into your selected packs. We hit done. It'll load up. And then once you go back to game, you will see that you have dramatic skies or whatever texture pack or resource pack you guys decided to install. All right, my dudes, that's all there is to it. I hope that was a very informational video. And if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to smash like for Quinny. Let's try to get 100 likes on this tutorial. That would mean a lot to me, my dudes. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash sub because only a small percentage of my viewers actually do smash the sub button. So it would mean a lot. All right, dudes, have an amazing day and go enjoy your Minecraft 1.18 with these beautiful shaders and maybe these beautiful skies if you decided to go with them and also look at this town look at this this is insane stay tuned if you want this seat